Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss this packet tracer activity, documenting the network. Okay, before coming to this packet tracer activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time, or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get a notification message whenever we upload a new video. Okay, right. Here, coming back to our packet tracer activity. In this activity, our job is to document the addressing scheme and the connection used in the central portion of the network. We must use a variety of commands to gather the required information. Here is the note, the user exit password is Cisco, the privileged exit password is class. And here we can see the requirements. Access the command line of the various devices in central. Use commands to gather the information required in the addressing scheme and device connection documentation table. So here we can see our addressing scheme and device connection documentation. We have to update this addressing table. If you do not remember the necessary commands, you can use the IOS built-in help system. Okay. If you still need additional hints, refer to the hints page in Packet Tracer. Click the right arrow on the bottom right side of the instruction window. If you have a printed version of the instructions, the hints page is the last page. Okay, right. Anyway, it shows. Uh, here we can see the hints use the following commands to gather the information you need to document the networks Here we can see various uh, show commands So here coming to our uh, topology here we can see home office And here we can see a uh, central network We are going to gather other uh, information about these devices here we can see those devices R2, S3, here we can see those devices, central server, D1, S1, D2, S2, these are the devices. Okay, right, so our addressing uh, table is ready uh, in our uh, spreadsheet. So first of all, we will gather the information about this uh, device R2. So coming back to our topology, here we can see our device R2. We will click on this R2. We'll go to CLI. Enable password is uh, class. So here we can see uh, we will give the show command a show running config. Better we will give a show IP interface brief. Okay, so that we can see all the interfaces and its IP address. So here we can see each interfaces and its IP address and their status. But here we cannot see uh, the submit to mask. We have to uh, update the submit to mask also. So we can use the show command show running config so that we will get detailed information ip address something to mask of each and every interfaces right we will go to our spreadsheet and here we can see interface a gigabit at third zero slash zero here we can see the ip address we'll copy this ip address Submit to mask. And uh, here we can see next is connecting device. So this interface G0 slash 0 uh, in this R2 is connected to which device and to which interface. So we have to identify that using our uh, topology. Okay, now we are going to identify uh, the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 on this router R2. So we will keep the cursor on this uh, green color. Uh, it's not coming. So we will go to Options, Preferences, 
and here we have an option called show port labels when mouse over in logical workspace we will enable it actually in a real time uh, we can identify uh, these uh, ports uh, physically where uh, it's connected now we will keep our cursor here and here we can see the interface uh, gc row slash zero which is connected to uh, d1 interface gigabit authority zero slash one We will mark that here. Device name is a D1. Interface is a G0 slash 1. Now we will get the details of the interface a G0 slash 1. Here we can see the IP address and here we can see the submit to mask. I think better I am not going to uh, update uh, here in this uh, spreadsheet uh, which is a time consuming process. Okay, so just I will uh, close it. We'll, uh, see all IP address uh, details. Okay. Now we will check where this uh, interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 uh, on this router 2 is connected. So coming to our uh, topology, we will verify this interface on R2. Here we can see the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 which is connected to uh, this uh, uh, layer 3 device uh, D2. And here we can see the interface, it's uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Now we will uh, see the next uh, interface, it's uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2. Here we can see the interface, uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2. Here we can see the IP address and uh, here is the default gateway. And we will see where uh, it is connected and to which interface. It's obviously to this uh, switch S3 because already we have seen uh, these two interfaces G0 slash 0 and G0 slash 1. So remaining one more gigabit Ethernet interface is this. So it's G0 slash 2 which is connected to S3. But here it is a little difficult to identify to which port uh, it's connected uh, in S3. So we'll verify that coming to S3. Enable, we will give the command show IP interface brief and we will see all the interfaces. Here we can see one interface is up, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and that may be connected to this central server. We can verify that FA 0 slash 1. Okay. Then here we can see one more interface, a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. So obviously, uh, this is an interface. Okay, that's all uh, on this device R2. Now we will go to S3. Here we can see it's a switch. And uh, here we can see interface address, sub to mask, it's updated. Okay. Oh, it's everything updated uh, for this device S3. Now we will go to the next device that is central server. So here we can see our central server and uh, we have to update IP address, submit to mask, connecting device, device name and interface. Okay, uh, so we can see this central server is connected to the switch S3 and already we have seen the interface. It's uh, uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So we'll verify that. Here we can see that. We can verify in another way. We'll uh, try it. We'll go to the interface. Uh, configure a terminal. We will go to the interface. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. We can give a shutdown command here. So that we can see the link from S3 to the central server is down. So it's connected to this interface FA0 slash 1. Now we will give a shutdown. Okay. Now it's up. 
now we have to get the IP address details of the central server coming to central server or desktop we will go to command prompt uh, here we can use the command IP config even we can give a slash all and we will get the details so here we can see IP address okay here we can see the submit to mask and here is the default gateway also we can see the other informations like DNS servers now we will go to the device uh, d1 so here we can see it's a multi-layer switch so we have to get a vlan 2 it's already updated now we have to get gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 so coming to d1 password is cisco enable password is class show running config Here we can see the interface, a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 uh, and gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1. First of all, we will see G0 slash 1 on this device D1. Here we can see the IP address. Here we can see the submit to mask. And uh, we will check where this D1 is connected to. I mean this interface G0 slash 1. Already we have seen that. Uh, G0 slash 1 uh, on this D1 is connected to R2 and here we can see that interface G0 slash 0 on this router R2 now we will get the IP address details of the interface G0 slash 2 on this uh, D1 G0 slash 2 here we can see that IP address is here and here we can see the submit to mask now we will see where this g0 slash 2 is connected coming to our topology we will verify this interface here we can see g0 slash 2 which is connected to uh, this device d2 multi-layer switch and uh, in the port g0 slash 2 okay now we will verify the next uh, interface here we can see that first third 0 slash 23 and 24 no address no submit to mask and where these uh, ports are connected to we will see that coming to our uh, topology we can see the remaining interfaces here we can see it's a fa 0 slash 23 and here we can see the next one it's fa0 slash 24 obviously anyway we will verify yeah here we can see that now here we can see s1 details here we can see the device s1 okay vlan it's updated faster third 0 slash 23 so it's connected to okay we will verify that also we can see the interface g0 slash 1 uh, it's connected to which device and which interface we will verify that we will check each interface on this switch s1 here we can see pc1 it's connected to faster third 0 slash 1 and this is a faster third 0 slash 5 here it's a FA0 slash 23 and G0 slash 1. So we'll verify these two interfaces. This is uh, uh, FA0 slash 23 and obviously uh, this is uh, uh, G0 slash 1 uh, which is connected to this D1. Right. Next device is a D2. So we will go to D2 CLI password is cisco enable uh, password is uh, class show running config so we have to get the IP address details of the interface fa0 slash 24 
okay here we can see fa0 slash 24 here we can see the ip address and here we can see the submit to mask now uh, we will see uh, to which device it is connected we will go to our uh, topology and here we can see the device d2 we will verify each interface this is g0 slash 1 g0 slash 2 it's uh, fa0 slash 23 then obviously this is fs0 slash 24 so it's uh, connected to the switch s2 uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 now we will verify g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 on this device at d2 so here we can see g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 uh, here is the ip address for uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we can see the sum to mask also, we can see the IP address for this interface, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2. Here is the IP address and the submit to mask. Now, we will verify uh, uh, to which device these interfaces are, are connected. So, already we have seen here G0 slash 1 which is connected to R2 uh, to the interface G0 slash 1. And this is a G0 slash 2 which is connected to our multi-layer switch D1 uh, to the interface of G0 slash 2. Finally, coming to uh, the device S2. VLAN, okay, it's updated and here we can see the interface FA0 slash 23. Uh, no IP address, submit to mask, only we have to find uh, this device is connected to which device. Uh, here we can see the ports fa0 slash 23 and g0 slash 1 yes already we have seen that here here we can see fa0 slash 23 which is uh, connected to this uh, d1 uh, port fa0 slash 23 and here we can see g0 slash 1 which is connected to uh, d2 uh, port fa0 slash 24 that's all uh, a simple uh, packet tracer activity documenting the network dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends just stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you